I'm back down at uh, Saltford. I'm below this cycle path uh, that was formerly the railway. And uh, I thought I'd do a quick update to let you know that Wessex Water have closed the case because they don't think there's any sewage waste down here. The Environment Agency have also confirmed that the case is now closed. Yes, a lot of it is plastic. It is the biggest and most obvious stuff that you can see. But you don't have to look that far to realise that actually, if you look a little bit harder, that's not plastic, is it? And how about down here? Let's have a look. That Thames has an island of wet wipes. We're gonna have one on the Bristol Avon soon. And what just looks like leaf litter and bits of old grass, when you break it down and get a closer look, it doesn't look so amazing on camera. When you have a closer look, you realize that's not all it is. But what bothers anglers and wildlife enthusiasts is what lies beneath the surface, not just above it. Case closed, wet wipe, wet wipe, wet wipes. Wet wipe, wet wipe, wet wipe. More wet wipes. That's, it's not plastic. That's 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 not plastic. None of that is plastic. None of this is plastic. None of that is plastic. None of that is plastic. None of this is plastic either. And this is where I like to fish, just over here. Right amongst all the sanitary towels and wet wipes. Probably shouldn't be touching this, but just so you can see, the sewage litter is still here. Surrounded by it. it. Doesn't come out very well on camera because it's all brown, but it's all entwined with the grass. And the Environment Agency have closed this case because they couldn't find any sewage. If you make a case, don't get bogged down by the postcode location. Give a what three words location. And then there really is no arguing because it's down to almost a square meter. How can you say that we can't prove it's um, sewage waste and could be from a septic tank? If you want to find out where your nearest combined sewage overflow is, go to the Rivers Trust website, which has an interactive map that shows where they all are and also how many incidents there's been in the last year um, of sewage spills. I think there was 51 on the one up here. We certainly didn't have 51 floods. Thanks for watching and I promise the next one will be a fishing video.